Bem-vindos! Aqui estamos nós de volta com Cat Rain, nome mais ridículo. Mas estamos aqui de volta para investigar essa casa. I can see someone moving inside. Opa! Tem gente. Thick, dense forest. What were you doing out there, Grandpa? Fifty-five degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. Fifty-five degrees. Ah, tá. Ela tá falando de Fahrenheit, né? Tudo cigarro. There's a ton of discarded cigarette butts. Espera aí. Doze graus. Fifty-five degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. Será que Somebody around here is a chain smoker. We have something in common. Good to know. Conwell Lake, where Lily Myers met her demise. Looks like there's a small dock with a couple of boats. I don't have a reason to go down there. De casa. Yes. Can I help you? I hope so. My name's Rain, Kathy Rain. Joseph's girl, the one they sent away. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Well, what do you want? I had some questions about your daughter, Lily. Well, you know what? I don't have any answers, girl. Lily was precious, special. Lily died. That's all there is to it. My grandfather came to see you, right? To ask about her? Maybe he did. I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not asking for much, Mrs. Myers. Then clearly you have no idea what it's like losing a child. Goodbye. Saque nela da próxima tortura até conseguir a resposta. Ai, ai, ai. Vou insistir. O que mais eu tenho que fazer? Nossa, parece que ela deu um soquinho. <risos> you again. Espera oh. aí. Eu tô tentando. I don't want to show her that. I should try to get her on my side first. I'm still here and will be until you agree to talk to me. Enjoy a night curled up in the leaves then. Just go away. No. I'm not leaving until I get some answers. Bite me. Bite me. Vou ficar batendo na sua porta. Stop it! Aham. Uh -huh. ah, agora você fala comigo? I'm not leaving and bite me! <laughs> you again. I deserve what you deserve. Won't you? Não, não vou nunca. I deserve what you deserve. Just go. God, that would be immensely satisfying, but extremely counterproductive. I don't want to show her that. I should try to get her on my side first. I don't want to show Care to join me for a smoke, Mrs. Myers? Well, um, I'm gonna have to think about it. Well, I suppose one smoke can't hurt. And that's when he realized it was his own bong. <laughs> oh my! Oh now. Ah, uh, fumante good. sempre se entende. <laughs> you know what, Kathy? You're okay. Sorry for being such a cranky old bag before. I get a short fuse when I run out of smokes. Now that's an understatement. Good thing I had my morning smoke. Otherwise, we would have had a fist fight on our hands. <laughs> oh, it's 
getting chilly. Why don't we head inside? É sério que se resolveu assim? Se fosse um cigarrinho de maconha, eu até entendia, mas Now, this here's my boy Nathan. He's special. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi there, big guy. Okay. Nice view of the lake from here. Coruja. Very lifelike. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. painting. It's signed L.M. Elk, by the looks of it. They're fairly common in Conwell Woods. I can smell something cooking. So, you wanted to ask me about Lily? Yeah. Do you mind telling me what happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him and the good he'd done for the other people around here. So I let him in. He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she, and that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth, that she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. Hmm, all right. Anything else? Well, he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Yep, that's one of hers right there on the wall. I see, it's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. I didn't really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper, thanked me, and left. Huh. Any idea of what he could have seen? Not really. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Eesh! Anything about what happened to my grandfather? How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. How long? A week, maybe. <laughs> At the most. I don't need to ask her about that. Mind telling me what Lily was like, Sue? I'd be happy to. She was Nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys, and whatnot. And she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was 10, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. We didn't have much, really. And so she used what she could once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> on her 12th birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no, this was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything. Counseling, support groups, antidepressants, nothing worked. About a year later, she just gave up and, well, you know the rest. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. 
You know, I've been through something similar. M my mom. She never killed herself, but, well, she came close. That's a damn shame. I heard about her problems. Is she doing any better now? Better isn't the word I'd use. I had to put her in a place where she couldn't hurt anyone, including herself. Yeah, life ain't easy for any of us. Flip a few coins along the way and I could have ended up somewhere like that myself. I'm awfully sorry things went that way for you, Ma. Anyhow. Thanks, Sue. Taking it one step at a time. I don't need to ask her about that. Does the name Charles Wade mean anything to you? Oh, he's some big-time businessman, ain't he? Yeah, he owns a large company. That about sums up what I know about the fella. What do you do to support the two of you? Mm, a little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say... He didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for 15. Man, that must be rough for you. Oh, we're doing just fine without him, aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. Tell me about this art collector person. Rich, fancy looking, in his 50s or thereabouts. I'd say he'd be around 70 now if he's still alive. He knocked on that door one day with a wad of cash in his hand. Five thousand dollars. He wanted everything that Lily so much as touched with a brush. Huh, did he say why? Nope, oh, but I got the feeling that most of that dough was paid so he could avoid any questions. I took the money. I still had Nathan to support. Did the stranger give you his name? No. Well, his face was far from forgettable, though. Big nose, bright blue eyes, looked black Irish. He had a thick black mane, turning gray, no beard. All right, Sue. Thanks. Será que era o próprio Wade? Ou será que era o cara do codinome Coque? So, tell me about Lily's art. It used Porque, to be about cheerful Wade. things. Landscapes, animals, bright colors. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things. Death and decay. And the last few pieces looked like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition for her art? Not really. Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. What you doing, big fella? Drawing. Oh yeah? What are you drawing? The nice red man. You mean Santa? No, the nice red man. Now what did I say about raising your voice at strangers? Sorry, Mama. I'll be nice. The red man is nice. Don't mind him. He gets so absorbed in his drawings thanks to that wild imagination of his, just like his sister. What do you think about this church? It's a good church. I go there from time to time. I bring Nate, too, when that boy needs the fear of God put into him. <laughs> no reason to show her that. No reason to... No reason to... No reason to... No reason... Hey, Sue, do you recognize any of these men? Well, there's Joseph Rain. <laughs> Always so handsome. I had such a crush on him back in the day. And... No. Oh! That's him. The man who bought the paintings. He's, he's much younger here, but there's no mistake in that hair and nose. Are you sure? I'm positive, little cat. That's the guy who walked into this cabin with five grand in cash. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. Ugh. Another question for the elusive Mr. Wade. Ah, sabia. 
sabia que era o Wade. Foi a única pessoa rica que estava nessa história. I'd rather just ask her about her daughter directly. Do you know what this key opens? Well, that's a bit of a weird question, ain't it? But no. Precisa de uma moeda? No reason to. Okay. I think I'm gonna. Sure thing, little. Okay. Nah, he's stuck in his own little world. Então vou saindo. Ok. Então vou pegar o meu cat móvel. para fazer perguntas. Apesar de não gostar da ideia, seria delegação de polícia. Vamos ver se alguma novidade aqui. Ei, hey, Lenny. Ei, hey, gado. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. Força aérea. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Hey, Lenny, could you check the files for a police report? A girl who drowned around here, Lily Myers. I'd love to help, Kathy, but you better check with the sheriff first. Fine, I'll do that. <laughs> nah, I don't want to ask him about that. What's your opinion on Charles Wade? He's okay in my book. Invested a lot in the local community over the years. He's been a prominent figure in town for as long as I can remember. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. <laughs> okay. Well, gotta go. See ya. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. I don't need to ask him. Do you know anything about a drowning here in 1975? Young girl named Lily Myers? That case was handled by Truman. I wasn't involved. Could I have a look at that report? Oh, you, pause, you have a memory problem? <sighs> I don't need to ask him that. What's your opinion on Charles Wade? There's a lot of people in town with their noses up that man's ass, that's for sure. That's so? Care to elaborate? <laughs> Just another rich bastard doing what he does. They even renamed Main Street to Wade Street a few months back. What a goddamn joke. Hmm. Ok, até que você não é tão lambi saco de figuras proeminentes quanto eu achava. I don't need to ask him that. That's all for good. Bom, hora de ferrar com o café de novo. Ah, que bom, já pulou. Hey. Hi there. Okay. See you. Nada de novo aqui, só para certeza. Não, não vi nada. Okay, there's got to be something in here about Lily Myers' death. Okay, what do we have here? Os serviços de emergência são chamados por um morador perto do Lago Conwell. Relata que uma jovem de aproximadamente 16 anos de idade foi encontrada morta flutuando na água, provavelmente afogada no lago. Policiais chegam à cena, paramédicos a caminho, atrasados pela neblina. O corpo está completamente vestido e não há sinais aparentes de ato criminal. Incidental, incidente, declararam como um provável acidente. Uma busca na residência revela um bilhete de suicídio que coincide com a letra da vítima. Testemunhas relatam problemas só de mental anteriores. Os técnicos de emergência a médica finalmente chegam. A jovem é declarada morte e transportada para o necrotério da cidade. Laudo do legista recebido, uma causa da morte determinada como julgamento, nenhum sinal externo de luta, suicídio confirmado. Então, hmm, looks like somebody did a Virginia Wolf. I wonder if there's more to it. Tem caroço me sendo. Isso. Mostras pra ele umas coisas. Hey. Hi there. Ah, não posso mostrar nada. Ok. See you. 
If I ever need to find evidence, I'll know where to look. They look sturdy enough. Wouldn't be able to break them open without taking my time and making a lot of noise. Now watch me go, bitch. Okay. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Cap. Sure. I'll show him <laughs> the police report I stole from under his nose. That's a great idea. Stop at this, Dawe. I don't want to show. I probably shouldn't. He might ask where I got it from. I don't want to show. Hey, Lenny, do you recognize these men? Not really. Sorry. I don't want to show him that. I don't want to show him that. I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, so ciao. Well, gotta go. See ya. Não deixa só ver se ele. Então acho que o único item seria para mostrar a foto. Vamos ver se ele conhece alguém. Hello. He's new in town. I don't think he knows those men. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. That's all. Good. Okay, I'm just going to do it in some way. motos novas para usar. Deixa eu botar para o cemitério, vai. Talvez algo de novo aqui. Ah, parou a chuva. Talvez o molequinho tenha voltado. Ou talvez esteja o fantasma da mãe agora. Acho que não tem mais aqui. Acho que, assim, acho que eu não tenho outra escolha. Acho que eu vou ter que realmente dar uma forçada na barra para conseguir o contato do Charles Wade. An old wheelchair. No result for that. Hi, this is Eileen speaking. Hey, it's me, Cat. Oh, hi. What's up? I don't need to ask her about that. Okay. Bye, Cat. Hi, I was just one. Sure thing. I don't see a reason. I don't see a reason. I'm trying to. I'm sorry. He... Is there? Okay. Oh, official. I do have official business. I'm Deputy Reagan. I'm calling from Conwell Springs Sheriff's Department. Nice try. You know what caller ID? Ah, I think. Damn, I can't pull that off if I call for. Simples. Lá vou eu jogar mais uma jarra de café fora. Eu adoro que ele não vai achar nem um pouco suspeito ligando daqui, né? Conal 
Sir, hi. Sure thing. I'm tr- I'm sorry. Is there- Okay. I do have a- f Hmm. I can see that you're actually calling from the station. You say you're a cop? You don't sound like a cop. Você não soa como um policial. Acusá-lo de ser machista. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's just because I'm a woman, right? Women don't belong in law enforcement? Is that what you're saying? That's so sexist. Now that's hardly what... Do you have any idea what I have to go through every day? Nobody takes me seriously. The dirty looks, the sexual innuendos, I've... Relax, okay? I'll check the files. <laughs> it's five 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 seven six four one. Valeu. Thanks, buddy. Otário. Vou ligar daqui mesmo. Você tá preso? Wait, residents. Hi, this is Kathy Rain. I'm calling for Charles Wade. He doesn't live here anymore. What's this about? What do you want with my father? I'd just like to have a quick word with Mr. Wade. It's about my grandfather, Joseph Rain. You're 20 years late, girl. My father has neither time nor energy to deal with you people. But... This conversation is over. Unless my father explicitly says he wants to talk to you, it's not going to happen. Yes. A stuck up overclass witch. <laughs> well, she hasn't heard the last from me. I'm going to talk to that old man one way or another. It's getting late. I should head back to the city. Hmm. Ah, os dias irem. Ótimo. É, eu imagino que sim, até porque ela comentou tipo, ah, tem que ver isso amanhã. Ah, eu posso voltar e tentar queimar o ursinho de novo. Hey, you're still up. I was wondering when you'd show up. How did it go? Long story. I found out about some stuff that happened when I was a kid. Wow, what a mystery. So what's the plan now? Eu vou continuar morto, nada que eu fizer pode mudar isso. Além do mais, tudo não leva a nada. Grandpa is still gone and nothing I do can change that. Besides, it's all dead ends anyway. What about this Charles Wade? You still haven't talked to him? Uh-huh. And that strange bright picture you showed me? Those tapes? Listen, I know this guy. Eileen, relax. We can talk about it tomorrow, okay? Oh. Eu vou ser a mais interessada no caso. Oh, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm way too excited. Well, that makes one of us nighty. <sighs> Good night, cat. O mistério é dela. Hey, Kathy, wake up. Ah, pessoal. You are so lucky there are no sharp objects near this bed. Guess what? I got an idea. Please tell me it involves you taking a sabbatical. Haha, <laughs> so you found all this evidence, right? Pictures, tapes, and stuff? I guess. Why? Well, as you know, I have a computer. And I know this hacker guy, Dave, and... Oh, never mind. I'll just write you a note. You go back to sleep. Seriously, Eileen, sometimes I just marvel at how your brain works. I know, right? Eu tô impressionada como seu cérebro não funciona, Kate. Aquela noite, Kate sonha. Are you sure you want to do this, Catherine? You still have time. If you think there's any chance you would change your mind. I'm sure, doctor. Just get it out of me. Ooh. But please, don't tell my mom. Oh. I'm sorry, but we have to do that. It's the law. Eita senhora, já sei. Não era conta dela, sou eu quem disse. It's none of her business. It's my choice to make. I have enough shit going on with her already. This would just add fuel to the fire. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Fine. Let's just get this over with then. Right this way.
Ah, 26 de setembro de 95. Ah, oh, I hate that dream. Mas isso é uma lembrança ou é um sonho? I guess Eileen went to class. I probably should too. Né. Dia 2. Deixa eu ver se eu consigo queimar o ursinho agora. My trusty Zippo. There's a crude inscription. Don't tempt me. <risos> Mas consegui o achievement. Quero que eu. Computador. Oh, what's this? Hi, cat. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is Angel Love, without the quotes. If you call my friend Dave at 555-2492, he can set you up with some software. I'll be back in a few hours, super psyched about the investigation. E. P.S. No gum on the keyboard, please. Remember the last time? Oh, please, like she actually uses the space bar? <laughs> Shit, looks like she forgot to write down the username. Oh well, shouldn't be too hard to guess. I think it's just some combination of her first and last name. Eileen schedule. There's a note for today. Help Kathy get in touch with Dave. Olha só esse microfone antigaço. Floppy disks go in there. No monitor? Qual que é o nome dela? Ei. Lin. Peraí, fala. Elin. Qual que é o nome da minha amiga? Amor de Lino. Tá, peraí. Hi, Cat. Feel free to use my password is Angel Love without the quotes. If you call my friend Dave at 555-249 Super Psyched, blah blah. That missing username is a bit annoying, but I think I can guess it based off her names. Not now. Qual que é o nome completo dela, caceta? Eileen's girly suitcase. Ah, There's a sticker tá. on it with her full name. Eileen Mildred Summers. Peraí, deixa eu adotar. Não, 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 
nem pra... Ah, mano, eu não vou ficar aqui uma hora, eu vou procurar um guia. completa só vou andar aqui então okay. I did that already ah tá só uma fita scanner ok volta eu vou botar a foto super exposta no scanner Será que eu ponho essa foto também? Provavelmente não. This picture is in good shape. Ah, tá. Bom, deixa eu ligar pro hacker agora. I'm Kathy. Eileen said to call you about some software. Ellie who? Eileen. Red hair, glasses, speak so fast, her gums ache. Oh, right. I thought her name was Errol. Figured it was kind of a weird name for a girl. You must have a hearing disorder. You must have a thinking disorder. <laughs> Burn! Oh, wow. Just wow. So, uh, the software? Oh. Yeah. No. Can't. Not really. Huh? <sighs> I knew she was full of shit. Nah, I mean, sure, I used to be able to get pirated software. But not anymore. Mm. There was this misunderstanding and my network privileges were revoked. The me manda so the Clyde, the sketch. campus IT guy, don't really see eye to eye. We used to play bocce together and let's just say he is one sore loser. Uh. Você é tão poser. You call yourself a hacker? Just use your brain for Christ's sake. Let's figure this out. Wow, you're so sassy, Nancy Drew. Well, okay, only an admin account can change the 
access port. The only way to even theoretically crack one would be if Clyde logged on to a machine to which we have unrestricted physical access. And... Ooh, I got an idea. I'm not gonna like this. Well, what you could do is intentionally crash your PC. That sounds especially stupid. Well, not crash it, crash it. Just crash it a little, then call Clyde. Clyde will come over to fix it. If you're lucky, then he'll log on to the network using his admin account. Afterwards, you can use some of my tools to find and crack the password locally. Worth a shot, I guess. Okay, you can come over and set it up. No way. I have severe IBS. It just wouldn't work. IBS? What the hell is that? Uh, you seriously S -E don't want to know. Case. I'll have my buddy drop off everything you need. It's not rocket science. You do what I ask, and I'll get you some juicy software. Quid pro quo, Clarice. Whatever, weirdo. We'll see. There was a floppy disk in there with a note taped to the back. It's labeled boot. One, boot your computer using the blue floppy. Two, use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer. Yeesh. Take the floppy out and reboot. Um, let's go check Three, call Clyde at 555-8181, tell him your computer crashed, and give him the error code on the screen. He'll come over and have a look. It shouldn't take too long for him to fix. Four, now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his admin account. Five, reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using the blue floppy. Six, reboot and log on using Clyde's admin account. Seven, what's the some kind of tool to remotely open my ethernet port? Dorm B, room eight. That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde, and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job, after all. Got a double. Então esses arquivos que eu já coloquei vai tudo explodir tudo. Ah, tá, eu tenho que se ligar e fazer o boot com ele, na verdade. Time for some expert help. IT, this is Clyde speaking. How can I help you? Meu computador que está quebrado. Hi, I need you to come and fix my roommate's computer. What seems to be the problem? It won't start up. There's some kind of system failure with an error code on the screen. Probably a hard drive failure. Which room are you in? Dorm A, room 5. I'll be there in a few minutes. Thanks. Hey, Clyde from IT. Hi, come in. É, você é exatamente do jeito que eu esperava que fosse. My, oh my, now how did this happen? I have no idea. It was like this when I started it up this morning. Hmm, let's have a look. Vai fazer isso de pé? Vai ter que 
que dá trabalho. Pra quê, né? Um personagem que vai aparecer só um pouquinho, ainda dá um... fazer sprites essa. And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could, could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead. I'll wait. Não, você. Não, ele tem que logar. Works like a charm. Mission accomplished. Espera aí. Uh, yeah. Thanks, I guess. No problem. Let me know if you have any... I'll be sure to... Uh, putz. Deveria ter falado com ele. Shit. I have to come up with a way to force him to log on. Logou de novo. Presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could could you? You go ahead. No, você vai. No. Uh, yeah, that worked. No. No. O que eu faço então? Shit. Meu caralho. Acho que eu tenho que, sei lá, falar que não tá funcionando. O que eu faço aqui? Oh, não tá funcionando. Ah, uh, yeah, that works. Oh, no problem. Caralho. Have... Na verdade, é assim que tem que estar errado. Duh. Ah, oh, now look what I did. For crying out loud. <sighs> Let me try to log in with my account. Yes. Mas agora minha conta tá bloqueada. Okay, everything seems to be in order. I've unlocked your account. Please. Try not to break anything else. <laughs> oh, I'll try. Phase one complete. Nossa, até que enfim, viu? Tô até salvando. Extrair senha de administrador. Admin Gadget. If you call my friend Dave at five super that missing you. Hi cat, feel free to use my oh, my no. if you call super site that missing one. Boot your com two. Use the three. Call four. Now comes the crucial part. You need five. Reboot and retrieve six. Reboot and lob seven. Look for some kind of tool to remotely open my e that's it. One, two, three, four. Now come five. Reboot and six, seven. Look for some kind of tool to remotely open my Ethernet port. Dorm B, room eight. That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde, and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job, after all. All right, that should do it. Okay, I'll go 
viu? O senhor Hacker que precisa de uma ajuda, de uma. de uma novata. Yeah. Guess what? You got it? Hang on. Oh man, I could kiss you! Eh, figuratively, that is. I am so gonna get back at Clyde now. What are those admin credentials, by the way? Not telling, buddy. Saving those for a rainy day. Huh. I suppose this nice floppy I've prepared for you stays in my room then. Sure, then I'll just have to log back on and click that pretty little lock icon again. Mm -hmm. Now this is just emotional blackmail. Quid pro quo, Dave. Fine, I'll have it dropped off at your room. God damn, you're like a she Clyde. A Clydeette. <laughs> huh, that is the worst insult I've ever heard. Later, Dave. There was a floppy disk inside. It's labeled tools. Okay, agora não é mais admin, é volta para e mamers e amor. Ah, oh, meu Deus do céu! Calma aí, pera aí. Só um momento. Opa, opa. Aê! Eita, ó, olha. Uma pintura ou uma foto ou uma foto da pintura eu acho que são é mais perfeito para gente No point. I already have the original. What? Eu acho que já tá do jeito que deveria tá a imagem, não tá? What the hell is that? Ball lightning? Okay. 
I'll print the whole picture for now, but there's probably more to find. This is here. This is the Hmm, no, not quite yet. I think there's more to find in this picture. This here? Não posso mais mexer nisso aqui, mas e aí? Hum. Ah, tá. Talvez esse caminho aqui. I don't want to print that part. I don't want to print. I don't want to print. I don't want to. Oh. Hmm. I don't want to alguma coisa, parece que tem alguma coisa aqui. I don't want to print. I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to I already have a copy. I don't want to I don't want to print. I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to I don't want 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 to 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 I don't want I already have. I don't want to. 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 That shape has to be significant somehow. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all there is to find in this picture. Ah, só isso, beleza. Agora, fita selecionada. Forge a voz. Okay, Erica Wade, let's see if we can't motivate you to hear me out. Cinco vozes distintas encontradas, separadas em sessões. Ah. Ah, vai ser tipo meio Gabriel Knight, ok. Lá, 
mais começando um pequeno porque quer que tivesse um rain. Tanta, tanta, tá tudo uma vez no vídeo, não sei, vamos dar um ok. Érica. Érica. É, Estava eu fazer, felizmente, o Joseph Kate League, menino. Isso não, nada, não, dela não será. Olá. Parece pensando pequena porque quer que tivesse Sim, senhora, eu se estou sua, talvez tchau, tenho que ver tudo uma vez de vida você. Érica. De. Érica, de. Ah, peraí, melhor, não. Érica. Deixa eu ver se tem aqui. Aqui é o seu pai. Érica. Não, na verdade tem que ser aqui é o seu pai. Érica. Não tem a palavra aqui? Não tem a palavra aqui, Érica. O seu pai uh, quer que quer que cadê você? Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me. No, no, I should let the recipient know who is speaking with this voice. Ué, como assim? Eu sei quem tá falando com essa voz. I should let the recipient know who is speaking with this voice. H. I should let the recipient know who is speaking with this voice. Uh, vou ter que dar uma pausa aqui. Aliás, pausa coisa nenhuma, o vídeo já tá enorme, vou ter que parar por aqui. Até mais.